friends welcome to Shifa's Rasoi and today I've got a Thai green chicken curry and I'm going to make it with coconut milk powder I have got one cup of coconut milk powder and I'm going to dilute it along with one and a half cups of water alternatively you can use some fresh coconut milk as well and I'm going to make this with Thai green curry paste I've taken about four tablespoons I'm using the ready-made paste because uh, the products that are used uh, for making this green curry are very seasonal and sometimes they are not available in the market so I thought of using this but if you want to make in the house I will have be I will be posting the ingredients on my Facebook page and you will find the link in the description box and here I've got about 150 grams of chicken which I have cut into bite sized pieces uh, and uh, you, I have taken the breast piece and uh, one tablespoon of fish sauce or you may adjust according to the seasoning I have got one red chili uh, which is spicy and I have got lemon stock uh, which is one and then I have cut it into pieces these are all only for adding flavor and then I've got some brinjols these are the Thai brinjols and I'm using kaffir lime leaves so I'm just going to add two if you want more you can add I've got some basil leaves they're looking a bit different because I had frozen them like I told you they're seasonal items and then I'm adding one capsicum this is only to add color to the gravy we're going to start by diluting the coconut milk I have heated a pan as you can see I have not added any oil to it so I'm going to add my green curry paste into it commercially when this green curry paste is made a lot of oil is added into it so now I'm going to roast it on a low flame so that the curry paste does not burn and we're going to roast it till it turns dark green and it turns aromatic as well the curry paste has become very fragrant and it has turned this dark green so I'm adding about half cup of coconut milk which we had prepared earlier and we're going to cook this on a low flame till the curry and the coconut milk thicken and start to leave oil. The sauce has thickened and we are going to add about 300 grams of chicken. Earlier I made a mistake. It's not 150 grams, it's 300 grams of chicken. The chicken is halfway cooked. So into this I'm going to add in the seasoning. So I'm going to start by adding the fish sauce and then goes in the lemon stock or the lemon grass and also the red chilies. Now we're going to add in the brinjols. The brinjols are totally optional but uh, you may add it. It adds a good taste and also I'm going to add the milk and we're going to cook it till our brinjols and chicken are totally cooked. Lastly we're going to add in the basil leaves and I've kept a wooden spoon over our uh, bowl so that the milk should not boil over. I'm also adding the lime leaves right now so I'm just tearing it from the middle. We are not going to take the middle stem or the stalk and then just discard it and uh, I'm adding one more also and then we're going to cook it till the chicken and the vegetables are totally cooked. After cooking on 15 minutes on a low flame, the chicken and the brinjal is ready. You may put a spoon and check if the brinj brinjal is ready. So I'm going to add about half of the red capsicum and I'm keeping the wooden spoon here itself because uh, we are going to cook this gravy on a medium flame for about 15, uh, 3 minutes sorry, till the uh, capsicum should be half cooked uh, and then you can check in for the seasoning and serve the so friends here a Thai green chicken curry is ready and as you can see it looks very pretty and I have served it with plain rice but you may serve it with some jasmine rice I'm just serving it with some plain white rice so guys do give it a try post me your comments and share my videos with your family and friends and do like us on Facebook and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video